if anybody involved in the writing department ever sees this, <laughs> know that this is probably one of the best writing I've ever experienced. Oh. Oh, it's Mel. Oh. This is going to be interesting to see Mel's motivations. backstory. Yeah, I want to oh. I want to know more what makes her her. Cuz they yeah. really kept her very vague. Ambiguous, yeah, very vague. What are her intentions? Kino says war is a failure of statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. Huh. You'd give me a throne. I will give you the world, child. If you prove you can take it. Hmm. Interesting. What should we do with her? Oh no. So I guess she couldn't do it and that's why? She won't make trouble for us. Strip her of her possessions and send her to the far colonies. She's a symbol of the old regime. Mm. Kill her now. Only one must die. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. Interesting. Indeed. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. So she oh. was a good person. She didn't want to do that. And I'm assuming that's why she got expelled. Yeah. But you must be the wolf and the fox. Yeah, I'm wolf and the fox. I called it, man. I know yeah. her intentions are deeper than what we see. Yeah. He cares for her too. Yeah. Deeply. In his own twisted way. It's he so does. interesting. <sighs> no, she wasn't there, right? She didn't see that. I don't. It's too far. I think she is seeing it. Oh, yeah? I hope. Because it adds another layer of understanding. Yeah. She's like, okay, it's not just manipulation, because clearly she's not even conscious, right? Right. So. It's twisted, like you said, in its own yeah. right, but it adds context. If he can yeah. persuade, she can persuade Silco through Jinx, like, hey, we both right. care for her. Exactly. Don't go through, like, don't do, do this. this. <laughs> you know, don't go through this path. Yeah. Like, we could do it, but different, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. We were so worried. Thank goodness you're safe. And you found a stray. This is Vi. She's from the Undercity. Oh, no. I'll schedule an audience. Hmm. Thank you. I don't trust you her. You and your friend can address the council yourselves. I'd suggest you prepare accordingly. No, I guess, yeah, she will help them get the audience, yeah. but they're going to have to come up with proof, man. You got to show yeah. these people the facts, you know? Come in with numbers and you got the case. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh! Wait, is she dead then, or is she dying? And before I begin, I must know. Are you prepared to lose her? Jinx! Jinx! I hope they don't do anything to her, dude. She won't die, Doctor. She can't. Wow. How much he cares. See, now we know I through perspective, yeah. guys. We didn't see all this, okay? I was this wrong. Is for your own sanity. <gasps> oh! What the fuck? Oh, wow. I too once had a daughter. This is so complicated. I actually feel bad for Silco now. I know. What the <laughs> I'm so what confused. What the fuck, dude? The Undercity is devolving into chaos. And somehow I get the feeling he isn't up there balancing book shits. Hmm. Hmm. Jinx gets a whim. Suddenly his spine's made of jelly. And here you are, shoveling his shit. Ego is one thing. Brains another. <laughs> He's trying I mean, to start his own mutiny, huh? Yeah. This guy. You aren't the only one dissatisfied with his performance. There's bigger fish than Silco. Oh. Wait, is that Mel? Oh no, her. Yeah. Her mom. Um, oh shit. Oh. Dude, she looks badass. Holy Christ. Yeah. 
Weapons can't be unmade and they are always used. I'm here exactly. to help guide you to the right decisions. I don't need your guidance. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, she's been doing all right so far. Who's this guy? I'm off to sample the local cuisine. Oh. Hey, yo. All right. Damn. <laughs> OK. I mean, more hmm. power to her, I guess. Enjoy your time while you're here. Yes. Sometimes I, I'd get carried away and she'd get scared. I didn't want her to start crying and wake my parents up, so I pretended to chase my own monsters away. I'd say, no monster's going to get you when I'm here. Then a real monster showed up. Damn. And I just ran away. <laughs> Oh no. oh no! Now they're actually getting her shimmer. Oh god. Oh dude. Oh dude. Sands must be painful. No! I'm afraid it will only get worse. Ah, oh, dude. It's just messing it up more for her. Dude, she's. Oh my god. Give this girl a break, please. Yeah, she has not had a single break. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he does not belong there. I know, he's Poor. so cute. These blades seem improperly pitched. You're wrong. It's designed for the fissures. Air is denser. Okay, he's okay, thank God. Okay. Councillor Heimerdinger, what are you doing on this side of the river? I wanted to offer my assistance to the citizens of the Undercity. Oh, wow, oh. nice. It seems I'm unwelcome. <laughs> oh. What is it? We're having the exact same day. <laughs> <laughs> Little spa treatment. Yeah, I know, right? Do you know what the success rate for senior academy inventors is? 3%. We're no strangers to failure. <laughs> what makes this the city of progress is that we keep trying until we get it right. Right. Yeah. I want you to succeed here, Jace, but if you don't accept certain realities, I fear you'll end up like General Parlek, slaughtered with your eyes closed. Is that a threat? That, that sounded, sounded like very a threat. much like a threat. <laughs> People are starving, sick, ravaged by shimmer. Yep. What does the Silco even want from us? He believes the Undercity should be independent. He calls it the Nation of Zorn. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What about these? Do you know who made them? No. Well... Oh, uh, shit. Her name is Jinx. Oh, wow. There are good people down there. <laughs> Bad ones, too. Even if we wanted to invade, they have Shimmer. We have Hextech. Don't do it. Jace, you don't know war. I do. It must be our last resort. Exactly. Yeah. Mel is not that yeah. bad after all. She's the only one that has... You can't talk to him. He hates you. Everything you stand for. He will mm. never back down. But they don't want to kill innocent people either. It's so complicated, man. They both have a point. Yeah. If they start war, innocent people die. Yeah, But exactly. Silco is not going to stop either. No. Fuck. There must be something else we can do. Some other way. We'll make a new plan. We have to try. Yeah. Okay? It wasn't enough. Top side and bottom, oil and water. That's all there is. <laughs> oil and water. Do yourself a favor, Cupcake. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just... Forget me. Okay? No. Come on, Vi. She's Come one back. of the good ones. She's trying to help. I know. Oh, oh wow. Shit. He can walk without the cane. <laughs> Victor. Victor. Okay. Dude. Oh, look at this what? beautiful scenery, oh, so too. Mm -hmm. What? He can not He's only running. walk, he can run. What? Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. Good for him, dude. 
He deserves, he deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he deserves it. Good for him. A little break, you know, from this life he's had. I'm always man. feeling weaker than yeah. the opponent or private project for a couple weeks now. Oh. <laughs> She's the one that has a crush on Victor, right? Dude. Wow. Trying to show him something. Oh no. Oh no. Victor, I was hoping you might take a look at something I've been working on. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I know me too. Everything you do inspires me. Oh honey. Oh. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh my god. What is I going to do? Oh my god. Let go. Oh no. Fuck, dude. It killed her. What the fuck? Oh, man. This guy? This guy? No. Oh, dude. Oh, my fucking God. Hello guys and welcome back. Thank you for watching with us this penultimate episode of the show. Something we're bittersweet about because, you know, we don't want to let this show go just no, yet. I'll never let go. Uh, but we do want to know how it ends. So thank you yeah. guys so much for watching with us. If you're enjoying this reaction, make sure to hit a like, hit yes. the subscribe button, leave a comment. You know, we do want to know your thoughts and we love hearing yeah. from you guys. So please do that for us and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya. Wow, dude. That is messed up. Dude, that's so fucked up. Hmm. Nice. Oh, dude. You want to make Soko pay for what he's done? Oh, God. I could have you arrested. You guys really like to bandy that threat around. <laughs> yeah. Have someone dragged off, don't bother to find out what it does to someone being stuffed in a stone box for weeks or months or even years? Exactly. Yeah. I want to make Silco pay. I want in. There is no in. You heard the council. Fuck the council. <laughs> I'm not a vigilante. No. You're a victim. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Yo. There she is! <laughs> Let's go! Take out his manufacturing facilities. Hit him hard and fast before he can react. Right. Yeah, it's the only way, really. I mean, that is definitely for the greater good. Destroy all what the shit. What are you gonna shimmer. do, pretty boy? Pretty boy. <laughs> I love this girl. I love that She's she got so her sorry. gauntlet too, dude. I know! Uh -huh. I don't want to know what condition Jinx is because... Man, it's so it's, complex because I know Selko is still the bad guy, quote unquote, but yeah, now I feel I bad for him as well. It's the way he cares for Jinx that... It's so made, written, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he has his hammer too? Let's go, dude. Yo, what? His Hextech hammer, dude. It's the Hextech hammer. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, God. Ah. Oh, man. What did that do? What did oh, that do? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. No fucking way. Oh, shit. Oh, they gotta run. What? Oh, God. Get ready to fight, guys. Ah, oh. Jesus Christ. Damn. All right, Jace, now's your time to shine. Oof. Oh, God. Ugh. Jesus. Holy shit, dude. 
Time to use that hammer. Yeah. We'll see how badass he oh, is. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Uh, Let's do this. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I love you, Vi. Let's go, guys. It's so awesome, dude. This action is a, it's gonna be amazing. I, I know, know, I know. I'm so chastised up about this. Mmm. Oh, that's so badass. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, nice. Good dodge. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> bite kneecap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, look at you, Jace. Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Ooh. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck it! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> wow, dude, her power! <laughs> ooh! Ooh! Mm. Ooh! <laughs> oh my Let's god! Go, dude! As, <laughs> as if she wasn't OP already! Yeah, I know, dude! <laughs> oh! Shit! Okay! Dude. Holy shit, what? What is this show? What is it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get him, dude. Fuck him up. Wait. What? Oh, did he miss fire on the kid? Oh shit. Wait a minute. Was that not the thing that was hopped up on the shimmer? Did it like cure him temporarily? I'm not sure. Or was sure, that one of the, dude, was I'm that so the kid that like? I think that was the kid the that hit the, yeah that rang the alarm. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh shit. And they just changed Ace minds too. They just changed his mind. So many children. Yeah, it's not fair for them either. The score is so beautiful. So beautifully composed. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That's heartbreaking. <sighs> this is so good, man. <laughs> Oh shit! Jinx? Oh no. Oh no. No. No, dude. Oh Ooh. shit! Don't you fucking no. dare. No! Dude. I am lost for words, man. Yeah, like I'm honestly, I'm like overwhelmed at this point. Like, just when I think that they've reached like peak storytelling. It's always something else, yeah. There's always something else. There's a new layer. Oh, God. And the thing is, like, they make it so hard for you to, like, choose a side, right? It really is hard, because now I'm like, well, Cause you I'm know, Silco still done, he's done a lot of bad things, but now I feel bad for him because of the whole, you know, empathy with his yes. daughter, and I'm, yeah. you know, I'm not a horrible person, so I feel for him now. <laughs> and I also understand where Vi's coming from, and she's like, no, we have to shut it down. Yeah. But some people want to kill Silco, and I don't know if he, I mean... I don't know if I would be okay with that either, because now I care for him, too. Yeah. I don't know, he, he's just trying to do what he believes in. And, you know, I, I don't feel as radical as I felt before, which is yes. very confusing. I yes. think that's the best way to express it. Yeah. I feel very conflicted. Because when they were like, where, oh, we need to find a diplomatic solution, like, there was a part of me that was like, because literally just the previous episode, I was like, the diplomatic way is not going to work. But now I'm like, maybe we should give that a try. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want anybody else to get hurt. Dude, and then the whole powder slash jing situation and it's just like i she's uh, not in her right uh, mind and now with the now freaking, she's definitely not in her right mind. now with like the shimmer I'm, one she's gonna be op she can definitely easily yeah. beat caitlin in a hand-to-hand -hand scenario two again it's shimmer and we know that that doesn't really help yeah people especially if you have already underlying right. an underlying condition <laughs> like her 
And, you know, it's just so tough to watch. And, you know, this inevitable Vi versus power I know. situation. I feel like that's where we were being dragged towards. And I'm just like, just... don't do anything to Caitlyn, please. <laughs> I know, please don't hurt Caitlyn. she's like Caitlin. the one person who's like purely good. Or she like, you She's know, trying, she, you she know? might be naive in the yeah. sense where she trusts that everything is going to be OK if you do the right thing. Maybe. Right. But she is a good person and she's really trying to do the right thing. And she's trying to change yeah. things. Yeah. She's trying to actually you know? make a difference. I feel like her know? and Heimerdinger are like in the safe zone where they're like they're both really good people. Yeah. That are trying to do things for the greater good of right. everybody's you know, circumstance. Yeah, right. Rather than just like push their own agenda and yeah. hide and like do like a smoke screen and pitch it as something else, um, they're straightforward. Yeah, you know? exactly. What you see is kind of mostly what you get, and I, I, I really like that about their about their characters because like with some characters, you you kind of need it to be just as what it seems. I had a relatively growing strong dislike towards Jace. Hmm. Um, I was growing more and more mistrustful of him and also of Mel. But yeah. now we see that Mel really just wanted to... It's kind of like the Captain America versus Furies debate about, like, you know, when they were building all this weaponry. Yeah, it's the same thing as having the, the guns being pointed There was, like, you, you build the weapons as a shield. Is it a shield or are you just holding a gun against the a rest bigger of gun. the world? A bigger gun against the rest of the world yeah. and just hope they don't come with back with something bigger that's exactly what they're um, doing is that peace is that yeah, truly peace exactly that's the question right exactly it's and interesting well it's funny because it's also reflects of what we do in real life right we know that our governments have you know these weapons that they just really yeah. use them as a threat over everybody's yeah. head i'm not going to get into that too deeply yeah. but you guys know what i mean and i feel like every yeah. uh, country every government has them and they kind of yeah. and that's what keeps us safe in a way <laughs> Which is fucked yeah. up. It's like the fear of having apocalypse is what keeps yeah, us Yeah, basically. Safe. You know, if yeah. everybody has the potential for self-destruction, then it means nobody will self-destruct, which is a really backward way of, <laughs> you know, it's, it's so interesting that us humans, we yeah. think that way, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I, I, I do agree with your commentary. I feel like sometimes having characters that are just purely what they seem, yeah, either completely evil for their own reasons or completely right. good, as long as you know what their motivation is, yeah, I feel like that is sometimes a bit refreshing because a lot yes. of these other characters have so many layers. Yes. Like when Vi is talking about, like again, going and just taking out Silco, I'm like, yes, I, yeah, you, yeah. you, you know, he did sort of kill your father in a way, so I get yes. it. <laughs> But now I'm like, but then Jinx will lose her father twice and... Yeah, she will lose another father. I don't know how I feel about that. It's so complex. <sighs> it's so hard to make a decision and they wrote it in this way to make it so hard. And yeah. I love it. I love it. I think it's so unique where... Yeah. In the course of the last two to three episodes, I've been feeling more empathy towards Silco, which is not something that I thought I would ever... Oh, uh, no. ...feel I... or think... <laughs> So now, in re uh, in retrospect, because you guys should have known that we ha haven't seen this part. I know of we didn't before. get to that part. So yet. I get it. I get it. You guys were like, "He's not a coward." Da -da -da. I understand. Okay. Okay. Pause. <laughs> we did not see this part of Silco. We didn't see we this side of him. This part and yet. now we're. Like, I did not trust him like at all. Because like in my head, oh. I was just like I was overthinking. To be fair, um, I do tend to do that sometimes. But I'm like. He's definitely just trying to recruit her. Like, he doesn't give a shit about this little girl. Like, he was going to kill her, kill her two seconds ago. Now, all of a sudden, he cares. Like, and yeah. that's the cynical part of me, I will admit, again, like I said. We are people, we're the kind of people that, you know, we we don't trust at face value. We no. need to, we need to know you. We need to really kind of, you know, yes. play it safe and make sure that, so especially with characters, like, as soon yeah. as they turn, and, you know, because we're writers as well, yeah. we're like, well, just because they change their mind now they could change their mind as quickly as they just change their mind yeah you know? exactly because like, we need insurance that he's not gonna yes. revert and just kill her whenever <laughs> but um seeing what we've been seeing after the few episodes and seeing how he cares and he picks her up and he's running and he looks genuinely worried in that yeah in the in that uh episode yeah. the where way he's trying he to just, save like, her gently carried that her. is I was a like, father you know that is yeah. a father figure that yeah, really cares a, for his for he's his her dad daughter. at this point yeah that's what I love about characters, and so I wouldn't have hated it if Silco was just, like, purely evil and he didn't actually care about Jinx. I wouldn't have been upset about that, but this is a, this stronger, is a stronger choice. choice. This is the stronger choice. When it comes Absolutely. to writing, this is it. Yeah, yeah. 
if if anybody involved in the writing department ever sees this, <laughs> know that this is probably one of the best writing I've ever experienced or Period. seen in entertainment yeah. thus far. This yeah. is so complex. Yeah. And it caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting this to be so complex. And it's very reminiscent of the game, actually, where it yeah. seems <laughs> like it's just a very basic game and very simple, but then they hit you with all the nuances and mechanics that you have to learn and you realize very quickly that it's not as easy. Yeah. The show did exactly the same thing where it hits you at face value with animation and cool colors and great music. Yeah. But the characters, man, it, it's the layering in this is amazing. And... <sighs> You know, in this episode, so like good. you said, we got to see that Mel is actually a good chick and she just wants yeah. to make sure that they don't go into war. Now, I kind of agree with her just because I know that the Undercity has suffered so fucking much. Yeah. I don't want to see the innocent kids get murdered, right? Yeah. Because that's what's going to happen, as we saw. Yeah. It, it's not what's going to happen. It just happened. Yeah. It's the this innocent is, that pay the price. It's the innocent that pay the price. So even though Selko you need to hit Silco with that radicalism, the same radicalism he has. Yes. You cannot put the, the life of these other people at risk. Yeah. You can't do that because yeah. then you're you're becoming him, yeah. <laughs> you know, in order to stop him. So it's so yeah. interesting with the commentary they're, they're yeah. doing. Well, that's also always an interesting question, right? Like yeah. if you need to become a monster in order to take out the monster... Yeah. Because, like, what's the alternative? Let the monster just... Not that Silco's a monster. I'm just giving that as an example. Just well, he sort of had to become that mean yeah. guy in order to get his uh, objective. So, yeah, yeah, he... Even though he has different sides of him, Silco is the main dude that caused all the suffering and yeah, the shimmer and he everything. Did. He just, flooded the streets of Undercity with shimmer. He made the situation and, a bit worse, actually. Yes. It, it's such a twisted thing, but it, yeah. in trying to fix it, he kind of made the situation worse for them. Well, the path to hell is laid with good intentions, <sighs> honestly. That's arcane in a nutshell. I know, that it really is. <laughs> Shit, man. This is art. This is exactly yeah. what art should do. Exactly. It's, it's giving you something and not, like, completely guiding you towards it and just saying... Think about this for a second. Yeah. And do introspect. And it's it's just, you know, putting a mirror right in front of you. Yeah. And being like, here you go. Enjoy. That's the beauty of it. It sends a very clear message. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't do it by simplifying the characters. Yeah. Like, the message is still clear. You don't need to show... You don't need to make it good versus evil in order to have a clear message. You can still make everyone as humane and real as possible and still Absolutely. have a clear message that you're sending. Absolutely. And that's why, because, like, every single character is treated with respect. Did you mm -hmm. notice? Yeah. And I love that. Yep. Like, that's that's amazing to see. It's so refreshing, man. Like, I'm I'm in love with this show. One more episode to go, guys. I, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, dive right in? <laughs> dive right into that, into that next episode, because that's the finale. And I'm kind of sad. But I'm this really is sad. It. <laughs> you know, but I'm also super happy and proud that we got to meet all of you guys. I know. You guys have the been so awesome. You dude. guys have been amazing. Thank you for all the commentary. Thank you for all the lore exploration. Thank you for all the character analysis that we've been doing in these comments and for just being here with us you know yeah. watching this so we truly appreciate that and with that being said we're gonna see you guys in the next one take care see ya